Hi, welcome to the Smosh Cast. I'm Shane Top. And I'm Amanda Lee Hancanto. Today's episode is all about nostalgia, classic stuff. We're going old school. We're so excited to invite our special guest, Ian Hecox. Wow, thank you all for having me. Hello, I am Ian Hecox of Smosh and uh, Arctic Adventure on Frozen Pond. Oh no. Oh, that's... Frog Kingdom 2. Yep. Oh wow, yep. mm-hmm. I totally know hit, what you guys are talking also about. Also the hit animated movie, Hedgehogs. Yeah. Yeah. Ian wow. has an impressive career. Yep. You, you've done everything. Uh, and they're bringing that back too. You're they're, they're, another sequel of that movie is coming. Yep. <laughs> um, and you get to do it. Anthony can't be a part of that no. since uh, yeah. yeah. You've done a lot including buying back your company. I I did do that recently. Yeah, yes. wow. How yeah. do you feel? I feel I feel well today we announced it. Um, and I was uh, I think I was shaking. I was I was definitely like like in, like in the morning, it was like 9 a.m. The video went out, but I had to be on like another call already. Oh. Um, so I was like on this call with like lawyers about other stuff. Mm-hmm. And and like but I was also like reading the comments as they were coming in and my hands were like shaking. I was just like, <laughs> this is crazy. This Aww. is crazy. Um, so I haven't like I haven't had that many moments to like to just like look at the stuff because we like today is just like packed with other things. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, yeah. I've been kind of like offhandedly like reading some stuff and like I looked at the Reddit and and I looked at uh, at the U- at YouTube and I looked at uh, some stuff on Twitter and Instagram and it's just kind of like Whoa! like yeah. we're trending yeah. on Twitter and like it's a lot that going on right now i feel like you probably won't process until like 3 a.m you're in bed like who what yeah it's gotta be a total overload yeah Um, yeah it's it's crazy just like all these people like coming out of the woodwork being like oh like smosh like they were the first like channel that i watched and like yeah like yeah it's 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 crazy it's crazy to see this yeah so as of recording this today is the announcement day uh so by the time this airs it's been a couple weeks Mm -hmm. but it's been nuts, uh, and yeah, it's, I can't imagine how many people like probably getting hit hit up by random cousins who are suddenly just like, "Yeah, we're related, man. Do you know? Hey, we should hang out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I, if you need a business manager, uh, I'm your guy." Yeah, yeah exactly. Because you've always been a celeb, but now you're like a born again celeb. Does that make sense? That's what you are. You're <laughs> well, a born again a Christian. You're a born again <laughs> Christian celebrity. <laughs> I'm a born again. Ian, you're Christian again. Yeah, you know, Anthony and I decided to 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 come back to Smosh with Jesus in our hearts. Okay. And it actually um, would have been so funny if you did that if the whole theme was super religious. Yeah, you didn't see my bio. It says Corinthians. <laughs> uh, Thank God 11, for God. 11 12. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can I'd handle be, I'd that. Be sick. I, I'd be so sick. Yeah, uh, I don't think All I can handle that. All those old be like, what the f- Happened. God found us. That's what happened. That would we found be, Anthony. We found God. That would be a pretty funny turn. It would be very. It'd be very good. Just only Christian sketches. Yeah. But super <laughs> like clean. I mean, G-rated. I mean, that was Studio C. Studio C is a sketch com- is a like a sketch comedy channel, and they're funded by the uh, Church of Latter Day Saints. Okay. Oh. So. Okay. We'll we'll try to collab with them. Or BYU. Yeah, we'll try to get them. Yeah, sponsors. we're gonna collab. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> So they're pretty funny. They had a couple funny sketches. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see them. <laughs> There's a sketch where somebody gets hit in the head a lot with a volleyball. Oh, okay, wait. I know, that... I know that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's actually genuinely very funny. Yeah. Oh, made, this made was by Mormons. You've probably seen it. Well, Mormons also made Napoleon Dynamite. So well, they didn't what? make it. The guy that directed it was it, Mormon. It was Mormon. Yeah. Yeah. I love Napoleon Dynamite, and they shot it in Utah. So I think a lot so of the it's... like the extras and actors are probably Mormon. Yeah, so it's as well. entirely Mormon. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Mormon I can't wait yeah. to see the volleyball sketch. It's really funny. <laughs> Ian, a, a, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I was gonna go. Go, was gonna to go down episode. that Back to road. Me. Back to talking about me. No, this is all about you, actually. Like, we're really interested about going back. Okay. Yeah. I want to talk to you about two things. One, and I think first, we've talked a little bit about our reactions and how we found out, how you told mm-hmm. us. Mm-hmm. I'm curious how this process started from your perspective. Also, like, obviously, getting back to business, but but just you and Anthony kind of becoming friends like you were back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, 
When did that start? Because Anthony left back in like 2017. Yeah. I've seen him a couple times since. Super nice guy. Mm-hmm. We've, we've been cool. Mm-hmm. But when did you guys start like hanging out again? Like, like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, we, we probably started hanging out in earnest some sometime last year. Um, maybe like nine months ago or something like that. Oh, um, birth to baby. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a little <laughs> That's how long baby. it takes to make a little baby. Yeah. Okay. And, um, uh, yeah, I think prior to that, we would like occasionally like reach out to each other, but essentially like our, our friendship as one would define a friendship, uh, was, was not really, we weren't really friends anymore. Sure. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't Mm -hmm. out of, it wasn't out of like spite or anything like that. It was, it was literally just like. You know, we 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 don't like have a lot in common anymore, and like we, you know, I think that we started this whole Smosh thing as like childhood friends, and we witnessed you know a friendship turn into a business partnership, and mm. at some point, managing the, the the business relationship became more important than managing our uh, interpersonal relationship. That's so true. I feel like even when I see married couples go into business with each other, I'm like, is it good? <laughs> yeah, it's a scary thing. It was also a behemoth of a thing. It's not just some random business. It yeah. was a huge deal. Yeah. And you probably had a bunch of people like pulling at you, trying to define who you guys should be and stuff. Mm-hmm. Sure. And I mean, like a lot of it was also like, you know, a lot of a lot of the brand was like Ian and Anthony as like best friends. Mm-hmm. So it's mm. like we couldn't like go like it would be weird to like tell people exactly like where we were in our friendship and we didn't really know where we were in our friendship like towards the end of like Anthony being at Smosh. Um but it was like off. Um Right. And so yeah, we kind of we kind of stopped like we stopped hanging out like after he left. And before he left, like it was still like we would hang out occasionally, but it just like never felt right. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, and so we kind of let that friendship die. Um, and this is something that we talk about, I think, on his interview. I haven't watched it yet because it's not out yet. It comes out in like an hour. Uh, but but I went on <laughs> Anthony's I Spent a Day with series. Uh, but we kind of talked about this this thing. We had to like let that friendship die mm. in order for like this friendship to happen. Like we had to just completely like let go of 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 what we had and you know kind of just uh resign ourselves to thinking you know might not ever be like good Mm -hmm. friends again um and yeah when we reconnected it was kind of like it's kind of like oh actually like we we still have a lot of the same interests and and i think what really changed was our ability to communicate with each other. <laughs> uh, oh, it's like we're adults. Yeah, I'm yeah. into that. We, I think we both did. I think we both did <clears throat> a lot of um, self work, um, and so you know, prior to us, prior to Anthony leaving Smosh, we did not communicate well. Mm. Like we, like a lot. It was like a lot of like we we're trying to preserve what was going on at the company. So we didn't want to rock the boat. So we never had like difficult conversations. And now it, it, like, I think because of the work that we've, that we've done now we can like have like open and honest conversations like about something. And, and I think that's like totally changed the game in terms of like our communication. And, and we were able to like forge a new kind of friendship that's way stronger than the friendship that we had before. See, this is why I love this story so much because it's not only just like a story that I get to witness as a viewer, but it is your actual life, Ian. Yeah. Like, like this is your, you know, high school friend that you guys started a huge business together and life happened, you both grew, and now like you're coming together in such an amazing way. Like I just, it's so fucking cool. Yeah, it's it's really cool. And I think this stuff happens to a lot of people, right? Like, if you think about it, you guys are childhood high school friends. Mm-hmm. Almost everyone I know has high school friends that were like, you were, guys were so close. But as you get older, you you become different people. That happens. Absolutely. And uh, weird stuff. But it's, it's so interesting that you guys have found your way back. And you guys have grown into, you guys are the same people. But you've grown into, like, 
newer, better versions of yourselves that are suddenly best friends again. I think that's really sick. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's been fascinating to, to think about with all this that I've seen Anthony like a handful of times over the years, mm -hmm. but we have seen you for these past few years here at Smosh mm -hmm. and seen like you grow and seen you like, I think like, look, you've always been hilarious, but like to see you become funnier in mm -hmm. so many ways and like, I don't know, it's it's cool to see and to see that old school dynamic, but with so many newer components is yeah. really fun. Do I seem less depressed than I did like when we when we came back? I've I've pointed this out before. It's, I've it's, never liked that. It's, it's that a bit people call that think that you're like depressed and oh downer. I've like that is not Ian. It's not yes. depressed. No, it's yeah. a, the bummer thing that you because you make. You make oh, jokes okay. about bummer things, yeah. like on try not to laugh. Like you'd make challenger jokes on try not to laugh and stuff. So it was the bummer thing, and I think um. people started to attribute saying your personality as, as a whole is a bummer, which is not yeah. true. Not true at all. Not you just true. like dark, dark topics. Okay. So do I, but yeah. I do it with a smile. Maybe uh, that's the difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you deliver it with too much of a straight face. But no, in, in <laughs> person, you're honestly a very chill, chill mm. dude. Mm. You actually are. Ten Usually, I'd say in a pretty good mood. Oh, I okay, think good. so. It's just good. you're just a, a chill guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just remember like when we came back, like when we came back, like after the after the mythical deal, and like I was now kind of like taking this like position of president and stuff. Like, I think it I think it was like pretty hard for me, and like I didn't really have any chance to like, you know, going from like the Defy shutdown to like being like working with Rhett and Link to, to, to save this thing. Like I didn't have like any chance to like take a break of any kind. Oh yeah, dude. And, mm. and then now as kind of in this like position that I didn't, I didn't like originally plan on. <laughs> uh, and I just remember like there was like several people that would come up to me and be at like the office and be like, Hey, are you okay? Oh. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean that I think that I think that first year was was pretty was pretty rough for me like mm -hmm. coming back and and like I I mean like I really wanted it to like work and and things and things were things were going well and everything but it was just like yeah it was just I mean ever since Anthony ever since Anthony left it was always like I I was always trying to make the effort of like what is what is the identity of of Smosh mm -hmm. with with Anthony gone? And I wanted to highlight, you know, the the whole kind of like I don't I don't like to use this word anymore, but family of people on camera and the people behind camera. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to like redefine what Smosh was and, and highlight everybody. But it was still like, you know, the the sort of like foundation of of Smosh was was always like you know you and anthony yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so that friendship yeah so and i feel like, like yeah. i feel like what you i feel like that's so hard for a person to go through not only like a friendship ending but like the business relationship also ending mm. and i feel like no wonder you were going through a tough time like you had to hold up like you were a single mom for a while. You were, yeah, people call me a single dad. Yeah. <laughs> you were the Reba of Smosh. Yeah, I was the Reba. <laughs> you were technically working multiple jobs here. Yeah. Uh, it's, mm. that's, very much, that's very much you. Yeah, I am the Reba. Are you happier now? now? Yeah, definitely. Like, I, I mean, like, you know, we were, we've been, we've been trying to figure out what the, what the voice is for the main channel for, for years now. Yeah. And yeah. Like, we we would keep trying these different things and and it was tough because I, I do think that we 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 did have a lot of like really fun creative uh, videos and ideas on the mm -hmm. main channel, but you know that channel was was built largely uh, with an audience of people that watched Ian and Anthony videos. So mm -hmm. yeah, so you're not gonna you're not gonna convince people like overnight to just like accept uh, totally different content. Um, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, would I, would I take back any of the stuff that we did? No, like, I, I'm glad we did the stuff we did. And, and, and I'm glad that like that Anthony left Smosh and you can take that sound bite. No, yeah. but, <laughs> Oh, uh, Ian's happy. Whoa, Ian but, like, your Hollywood story. Yeah. But like, it really, it really does feel like this all had to happen the way it happened in order for us to be here today. 
Absolutely. So I am, yeah, I, I'm, I'm so happy with how things turned out. Yeah. So cool. I think it's, I think you both, it's impressive for both of you. And I think both of you deserve props because Anthony, it was probably such a tough decision of recognizing that he wasn't happy at a place, mm -hmm. despite it being like his lifelong like project. And I know he loved Smosh even when he left it, mm -hmm. but he recognized he had, he had to go. And, and then he found success on his own, which is so cool. Mm -hmm. And then props to you for, for, taking it on and like leading it for all these years and showing that even just one of you can run a successful Smosh, but now you're back together. So cool. Like success on your own was probably nice, like mm -hmm. to, to find that identity on your own yeah. and now get to come back and have that freedom and that independence yeah. and choose to be friends and choose to be business partners mm -hmm. as opposed to when you like fell into it and like from the beginning probably felt kind of like oh well this is just what we're stuck with this is how we have to be basically yeah yeah i didn't think about it that way that this is this is definitely a, a choice yeah 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 it's so sick yeah. um yeah so now i kind of want to throw it back let's go I mean, back look well back, we can come Shane, back whatever throw it back so bow, so you guys bow, are reconnecting bow. now i want to kind of go back to like 2005 great let's ooh just to get like Nostalgic. A nostalgic, <laughs> but also a scope of just how long this whole thing has been going. Because I know we mm -hmm. say like old school Smosh and Smosh has been around forever. To actually comprehend that it's nearly, or it's, it is over 20 years 20, old. 22. But, so oh, so the, the YouTube channel. Yeah. But I, I think I always forget that this started as a website mm. that you guys started years before you yeah. started making Anthony, YouTube videos. Anthony created it, yeah. So Anthony made this thing. Uh, <laughs> Do you know when you guys actually started saying Smosh? Like when Smosh became like a thing you guys were saying? Yeah, I think that was freshman year of high school. So that would have been 2001. Insane. Yeah. What What is it like to be in high school and like start this thing with your best friend? Like how did people perceive you in high school? Oh, yeah. I mean like. Freshman in high school. What would you, I mean, what we was were you like guys? Losers. You were losers, <laughs> like yeah. actual losers, or, or like well, L losers. You just well, just weren't popular. Yeah, we weren't popular. Like we 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 had a friend group, so we weren't like we weren't like not not to say like if you don't have if you don't have like a group of friends, you're a loser. I'm there not saying go. that, but <laughs> but I would say that like we weren't we weren't cool. Like sure, like yeah. I mean like, I believe I was that. in I was in cross country. Okay, like, oh cross that's country. Sick. Those are the coolest guys. For some schools, apparently cross country can be cool no uh, not ours not yeah. ours um it was very uncool um, football players would run out and just tackle you <laughs> yeah, yeah, mid yeah run um, you were both cross-country runners no, 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 just no, you just just me okay An anthony didn't do sports what did anthony oh. do make websites yeah he made websites he did uh yeah he's he's like self-taught on like yeah a lot of like coding and and graphic design do you know what code he used for smosh.com <laughs> <laughs> um PHP maybe? Oh god, the know. runner oh, just god. has no idea. Know. The friggin' runner does not okay, the website so works. You guys weren't cool like K E W L cool. Yeah. Um so did you care? Was that like a big deal that you weren't cool or did, was making Smosh did that make you feel cool? I guess when it was just a website no one knew about it, huh? Yeah, nobody like Anthony created in 2002 um as sort of like a forum for like us to all talk. On, it so. was like your own form of social media back then. Yeah, like imagine almost like a Discord. Uh, right, it's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So just it was just for you and your group. Yeah, and then he expanded. Like, so there's this website called Newgrounds, which is like mm -hmm. a place where people posted these animations. It's mm. called this, it no longer Flash animation doesn't exist as like Flash anymore. I think I don't right. really know. Yeah, I think they got rid of it. But um, I mean, you wouldn't understand this. This was for cool. So okay, dudes. what are we talking so, about? So imagine YouTube, but it's mostly videos of like s animated stick figures like killing each other. Yeah. Oh. It was a pre YouTube place for yeah. videos and people and could. Stuff. And it was Pretty like the cool. first. It was like the first place for like. <laughs> it was the Pretty first sick. place where like where there was like user generated content. So uh, Anthony created oh. kind of like a ripoff of Newgrounds, which is you could upload Flash animations to our website. So we started with people that were like at our school that were using our website. And then it like grew to being like some people that would upload on Newgrounds and they'd also come to our website and upload there to like get another audience. Did How you voice over the, can you voice the stick figures? Yeah. Is that what you guys did? You can, yeah. 
That's pretty cool. So maybe your er, the earliest Smosh videos weren't on YouTube. They were those like Flash animations and stuff. Yeah, like yeah, Anthony made some. Okay. Yeah. So how many users did you have in like 2002? Do you know? Was it hundreds of people by that point? In 2002. Are you gonna tell me? Do you have? Like, I don't actually know. <laughs> uh, I, I did, according to our I will dad, say, I I've been say, I've been doing a bunch of research, yeah. and I knew that in 2001 the name was registered. So I know mm. that you guys were making this early on. Which mm-hmm. is insane. Yeah. Um, but I was just curious. I was curious yeah. if you knew, like, oh, if this was just like a dozen of us, or if it was like, no, right. the whole school knew about Smosh.com. I, I think Smosh.com probably probably started getting people in like 2003. Oh, we also had like a couple like weird like like videos that we uploaded there. That was like some people from our school made like jackass style videos like there was oh my there was God, one yes. where they like lit uh, a tennis ball on fire and were and were uh playing tennis with it, it called it was called fire tennis there's another one where <laughs> this one guy we knew was riding in a car we had this really we had this like cr- we had this street and there was a super steep grassy hill next to it and so he was riding on the car then jumped off the car and rolled down the hill we had another one that was called a. Uh, uh, was he okay? Death? <laughs> Probably. Probably not. People um, died for Smosh. Dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, we had this other one that was actually great, and I think kind of became a little bit viral. Uh, that was this microwave Furby video. Oh, it was a, Furbies! It was a Furby in a microwave, <gasps> and I was like, "Cackle doodle do," and then all of a sudden, it just like this <laughs> lightning bolt. <laughs> And Wait, it, like, that's a good like, horror. That's a that's good a horror great... movie plot. Like cack and then it comes was, out. It was crazy. So you said that one went kind of viral. It went kind of viral. Yeah, Whoa. maybe. All so right. would you say that you were kind of beginning to be famous in high school? Um, so you're no. Like so- you're like sophomores <laughs> at this point. Smosh.com. Like we were thing. like juniors, probably senior. We we sold we sold our first shirts to like fund the website, like the hosting fees, in 2005 in our senior year. So like people at our school bought these shirts. How said, many like, people smosh. bought shirts? I would what? say maybe like we might have sold like maybe like fifty. Holy shit! That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. So it was like Smosh was like kind of like oh, there's like people that like know about it. And this is before the Pokemon video. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah, already. They're, they're, so uh, at your high school, Smosh became like a household name. Actually, yeah, because there was like in the yearbook, we like we posed this like photo of like a gathering of like Smosh people. And there was like thirty of us. Do you have like, that photo? Out. Yeah, probably. It's like in a yearbook. Okay. That's a big deal. Getting getting like featured in the yearbook. I remember being a very big deal. So Smosh was big enough to be featured in the yearbook. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like fifty they... people were wearing. Sm- You're walking around like a friggin' cult at your high school. Yeah. What are those high school people thinking now? Have oh, they reached have out? The Furby video? I have the Furby video. All right, let's watch it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Can can we show that on here? Do Wait, we, that's, that's kind of Smosh. brilliant. No, it's it's. I mean, it's somebody re-uploaded it. That feels like a but Vine. You before Vine. It's a, technically, that's a Smosh video. Yeah, somebody somebody that was on our website uplo- like sent us that video, and we. I, yeah. shit you not. I feel like I watched that video <laughs> way back in the day, or maybe there are other people microwave. Maybe I don't know. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Wow. So all right. So senior year, mm. Smosh is already known. Mm-hmm. It's already a big deal. Mm. But then YouTube starts. Which one of you was like, hey, let's make a YouTube video? Um, we actually started making videos before YouTube. We knew before we knew YouTube was a thing. So, so you um, just had were those re- videos. Were those re-uploads? Did you already like make yeah. those videos? Holy shit. Yeah, we um well, at that time, we had just made, I think, the Power Rangers theme song and maybe the Mortal Kombat theme song, but we uh, hosted it on Anthony's website, so we were paying the hosting fees, and Anthony um, figured, because, so so we had a MySpace, right? Of Smosh, course. We, we made, like, a Smosh MySpace, and we had, like, I don't know, maybe, like, a couple hundred people following us on MySpace. Um, Anthony... He was, you know, he's he knew some coding, so he figured out a way to like embed video from Smosh onto like 
uh, get your MySpace page. Um, oh wow! He's so, a tech wizard. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds yeah. So like he. Uh, so yeah, we first did the Power Rangers theme song, then we did Mortal Kombat theme song, and then somebody took the Mortal Kombat theme song and and uploaded it on YouTube. Somebody was like, hey, somebody took your video and they put it on this website, YouTube. We're like, what's that? Went there, found out about YouTube. <laughs> what's that stupid place yeah. that, that I'll never have a career at? <laughs> yeah, and so we realized like, oh, like if we upload it here, we don't have to pay hosting fees. Like we don't have to pay for whenever somebody watches this video, wow. this is great. So we uploaded it on there. Anthony figured out this way to like code like a, a video embed so that like it would post the YouTube video like on your MySpace page and then would have a link below that says like click this link or copy this link and add it to your MySpace page. So it was like easy for people to That's share so sick. videos. Oh, they, they could yeah. add it to their own MySpace yeah. page. So when people go to their MySpace, mm -hmm. your video's there. Yeah. yeah. That's Do you think sick. That, so yeah. okay, so wait, the first video you upload on smosh.com or on to Wait, what was the first video like? The first video we made was the Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. Theme. Power Rangers theme yeah. song, technically. Yeah. What was the first one you uploaded onto YouTube? Uh, I mean, it would have been Mortal Kombat. Like, we re-uploaded it. We asked the guy to take it down. He did that. And then we asked people. We asked our MySpace uh, people uh, to vote on the Mortal Kombat theme song to be uh, on the front page of YouTube because that was that was the only way of discoverability. And back then, you could vote. For like a video to be like put on the front page. What? Oh, shit. That hit their front page, got us a little bit of an audience. And then we asked people on MySpace, we had a poll running. We're like, what theme song do you want us to do next? And we had like Captain Planet and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Pokemon theme song. <gasps> and the Pokemon theme song was like overwhelmingly voted for. So we made that, uploaded it, asked people to vote for that video to get on the front page. It got on the front page. And then like right at that time, uh, YouTube got a bunch of press for being like this new thing. People are watching videos. They're like viral videos. And it was just like right place, right time. Uh, and then shortly after that, like the Pokemon theme song became the most viewed video of all time on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for like a year and a half and then it was removed for, for copyright infringement. <laughs> <laughs> Which like nowadays, like I don't think that I, I think that it's like fair use. Anyway, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Um, but Whoa. Yeah, yeah. So like who, how did you guys know how to do this? Was this just like trial and error or yeah. was Anthony like really coding or both of you guys were just like, oh yeah, we figured it this out. Are um, you coding at all or was that, is that fully just an Anthony thing? That's, that's an Anthony thing. Like he was always like a lot more into like the technical side of things and like whenever like something whenever there's like a problem that needed to be solved like oh we want to like add an expl like oh it'd be cool if there was an explosion here then he'd go like okay i'll figure out how i could do that i love that yeah. i find that to be so useful also really hard i don't think that's me. me yeah it's it's not me so like that's that was always like a really great like quality of anthony is like he's very like driven mm -hmm. and like when he likes when he like sets his mind to something he like he gets it done so it's like in those early days, like making YouTube videos, you know, he's like, we're like, okay, like I think we started editing on like, um, like Windows Movie Maker, and that was <laughs> ass. And so he pirated a copy of. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, hell yeah. I mean, look, you're gonna get arrested. <laughs> Smosh was made illegal. Editing again. software <laughs> was very expensive, and and we yeah. were making zero dollars. So we later on did pay for editing software once we started making money. When sure. did you make money? Um, well, we were probably the first YouTube channel to sell merch. Um, right. so we so that merch you sold to uh, your hi fellow high schoolers, yeah, started. Did, did that money. cost money? What, how much they was they just like, giving t shirts were you, you out were just for free? Giving, were you not, you, you weren't giving out t shirts for free? People, no, we made people pay for them. That's insane. I love that. The, yeah. the people who were like the quote unquote losers were like, all right, buy our t-shirt. And people are like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't will. think you were as uncool as yeah, you think exactly. you are. People are buying your t-shirts. I mean, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, I beat some nerds up, okay? Okay. Yeah. So, okay. You are a nerd. <laughs> Pokemon goes viral. Me too. Pokemon goes viral. <laughs> Does shit change from there? Or, or like? Yeah. I would I would say like, so. Like was that a, what was that experience? Because going viral was not as common back then. 
So mm. Nowadays, it's like everyone. I, f- I feel like yeah. a lot of people experience it, and it's a it's a known thing of like, oh, you could go viral. Back no, in two thousand five yeah. or two thousand six, right? The, you like you. I don't even think that term was used. It was because like before. Before YouTube, there was still torrenting websites. So like, Numa Numa, yeah, I guess that, like Numa, Numa Numa Star Wars kid, like those Star those Wars videos, best. those videos went viral through like torrenting, like websites. Yeah, I remember like, watching. Insane. I watched Star Wars Kid on E Bombs World, dude, and like all the remixes of those were people have, like. I don't think I've seen Star Wars Kid. Star Wars Kid, see that's going viral in the worst way. Yeah, he um he he. Oh, the news, the the morning news announcements at this high school, uh, they had like a whole yeah. film lab, whatever. And uh, so he recorded himself with like a pole doing a bunch of like Star Wars moves. Like and, pretending uh, like it was like a bow staff. And he thought like, he was so sick. He, he's so into it. It's so passionate. OK. And then it, it he probably forgot to delete the footage. And then another high schooler must have found it and uploaded it. Onto the internet, so it's like four minutes of him, oh, just just being like, just spinning a, a pole around, <laughs> and so and it's and they remixed it and like they they turned it into lightsabers, Wait. they yeah. turned it into a Matrix trailer. There, there was a great one where they it was him fighting himself. <laughs> it's so great, like, it's, it's insane. It's is that awesome, the chosen? But it's very <laughs> chosen. Yeah. No, the chosen. Totally, yeah. Cho- chosen right. is very much of that time. Like 2005 yeah. is prime chosen era. Mm-hmm. Is this kid okay? Like I actually think he. Had to move high schools. Well, uh, he did move have high to, schools he move did have like to, off the planet. He had to move high schools um, for being simply too awesome. I, I think by this point, people have probably forgotten because you you talk to anyone under like twenty five, they don't know what Star Wars kid. That's crazy. I feel like it Gen just, Z yeah, nowadays like would do that, and people would be like, "That's so oh, cool and unique." Star Wars kid would be awesome nowadays. Yeah, but back then when we were in high school, like no being unique and 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 out oh, of yeah. like. Like colorful was just like oh my god you're a loser. Yeah. Oh yeah, for we sure. We loved being we loved like the loser term like you're. Although so I lame. feel I feel like nerds nerds like s- started becoming cool like as mm. at, like right as I was like about to leave high school like this this guy that I was friends with who was a total nerd uh won won uh, homecoming king so it definitely felt like there was like all of a sudden there was this like turn of like the jocks and the like cheerleaders are not the cool people anymore. Yes, there was a shift. I think I think there was a shift where nerds became cool. I think early YouTube you see that. Like it's a bunch of weirdos. Maybe that's why. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's YouTube. I think just I, I yeah, maybe. Um but I thought it was fascinating that early YouTube it wasn't like your typical like super cool people. It was no, like a bunch it was of all like, weirdos. It was a bunch of goofballs. Um, and that's was, probably you why and, you and Anthony probably were the, the most coolest. most handsome YouTubers of like, that era. To be completely honest mm, with you, man, you guys were like the most look handsome YouTubers. To point out a different YouTuber who was more handsome than you and Anthony. Yeah, in early put YouTube. Put it in the comments. But I think I I yeah. Think, I mean, Dan and Phil did come in a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit yeah. later. Rhett and Link were a little bit later. Rhett and Link a little bit later. Wait, Just a little bit later. Rhett and Link were what year? They were like they were 2006, I think. 06? That's yeah. insane. Wow. Yeah, man, old school shit. You uh, know they used to make music. You know they were musicians first. No. Everyone starts music yeah. wise. Wait, is that because Link DJs? Well, they no, they were like they 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 played like real music. Yeah, they in play a band like, together or separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they played music. Yeah, what did they Red play? Red has a band, like like acoustic guitar and stuff. Red, Red yeah. has a band. Well, yeah, Red Red has okay. like Red has like a solo career now, but but they got started by doing like musical like um like comedy songs. Yeah, the Pokemon theme song goes viral. Are you still in high school when that happens? No. You're out of high school. Yeah. Damn, you don't get to experience being the coolest people at, at high school when that no, shit blows no. up. No, no. Because instead, we, I went to community college, and, and people are like, what is this? <laughs> oh, nobody gave a shit? Well, You weren't walking no. around, like, playing it on your phone, being like, you, or I guess you didn't have, no. you couldn't have it on your phone back then. I mean, then, like, the, the people, like, it was really funny, because, like, the people in my, so I, I went, I continued to do cross country when I went to community college, where, was where I was so definitely... Cool. <laughs> got completely outclassed. Like the going from high school to to, to they college really cross country is <gasps> is just insane. Anyway, um, it was funny because like they they were kind of like seeing me upload these videos, and so like they kind of saw like the the change in like 
popularity and they're like, dude, this is so fucking weird. <laughs> but like nobody else, like, you know, you're going to, this was mm. a commuter college, you know, it's not like you're staying in dorms or anything like. Oh, you're living at home. Yep. Yeah, oh. living at home. And you're not making any money. You made zero dollars off of the Pokemon theme song video. Yeah, zero, yeah. That's insane to think about. So wait, how long when you started uh, Smosh did you make money? Like how long? Probably, um, well, we like solicited some like uh, like donations uh, to get like a camera. So like towards the beginning we're but like, you're not like living off of small no no no, no. Like, this I, is not I was a job. working this is no. not a career yet no, no no i was working at chuck e cheese anthony was doing like freelance web design and yeah chuck e cheese you yes. were actively working at chuck e cheese yes. when those first videos yeah. started yeah yeah so hey, were you were you there and, like if kids were shitty to you you'd be like do you fucking know who i am yeah i would play yeah and then i <laughs> no way I, I, see. I, I strangled them in the ball pit and they no. were never seen they were never <laughs> seen ever again tell me if kids. i'm wrong i see ian you as being very humble probably not talking about Uploading all your stuff. Yeah, no, I, I didn't. I didn't. You didn't tell anyone. Stuff. I knew so you're it. there no. wearing a mask, being like, they don't know who I am. <laughs> they don't know. I hide my identity. Oh, were you yeah. the mouse? Were you? Were yeah. you dressed? Yeah, I was Chucky. Oh, <laughs> yeah. are you thought, lying? I'm not lying. See, the, he. That's when he was really a celebrity. Yeah, <laughs> that's True. the biggest celebrity. Kids that was the start of it. That was the start of my entertainment career. <laughs> oh my god. Is there anything you learned at Chuck E. Cheese that you think has uh, transferred over into oh. your career? <laughs> Do you think you learned anything by being a mouse? A <laughs> yeah, mouse? actually, don't have kids. So <laughs> like, oh my so god! Learned. You did commit to that. Yeah. Way to go. On my way. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, yeah, so I, you, were, you were you were working two jobs. A single mom working single two mom jobs. Working I told you, back to Reba. Ian is a single mom. Yeah, okay? man. Ian is no, a single is. mom. Was a Chucky entertainer, yeah. very humble, but Super just like. Humble. An up and coming artist about to be mm. famous. Dude, yeah. That I love that. The classic LA story, you know. So, so you were making videos for a while where you weren't making any money. So you guys were just purely doing it for fun, or were mm -hmm. there were you guys committing to it in the hopes of it becoming something else? Or was it we just were, really like, hey, we're just gonna mm. I mean, like we pretty quickly committed to it. Um, I mean, when we saw like the Pokemon theme song get big. Right. And like we were starting to build an audience. It was like, oh, like they want more. We should make more and mm -hmm. maybe make some like original comedy. So we started uh, making like little like sketches and stuff. And that was the thing, like, you know, early YouTube was all like vlogging, like in front, like talking in front mm -hmm. of a camera or sketch comedy. Those are like the first two and lip syncing. Those were like the first like three yeah. things that were on YouTube and cat videos, I guess. But that's, so that's, that's permanent. That's lip yeah. syncing. Permanent. Wait, how do they do lip syncing if they had copyright issues? Or that didn't come until later? Because copyright soon. copyright didn't really become like a huge issue until people started uploading uh, South Park and Daily Show clips to YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, and then that's when like all the companies were like, hold up, what is this? Mm -hmm. Oh, and then you know Viacom tried to sue YouTube for like $2 billion. Did Viacom win? No. Okay. Oh, they lost. Mm, they lost, but... It did like start the whole kind of like claiming process on YouTube and like DMCA and that kind of stuff. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. So, that yeah. is insane. Yeah. We're teenage years. But I didn't start, yeah, we didn't We're start high making. High school dynamic. Yeah, we didn't start making money until, yeah, we started selling some shirts. We had some donations that allowed us to buy a camera and start shooting outside of Anthony's bedroom. And then we made, uh, this deal with this like YouTube competitor to upload early on their website, and we got like a a monthly like payment for okay. that. So, <laughs> you're living at home. You're going to community college. Is yeah. Anthony also living at home and going to community? Yes. What were your? I know your mom started jumping into your videos. Yeah. Were both of your parents on board, or were they? Yeah. Or were they like, why are you wasting your time? No, they were, they were supportive. I'm telling you, if you were it's born so in Massachusetts, funny. it would be totally <laughs> I different. I think my parents would be super confused. Mine, they'd be like, yeah. what is they'd this? They'd be like, this so, is fun, okay. but get back to like. No, yeah, life. it was it was it was great. Like my my dad, who's an accountant, helped us set up the 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 LLC and like oh. make sure that we were like set on like tax taxes and tax work and that kind of stuff. Like, I mean, you know, you want to talk like, you know 
privilege. I mean, that's, <laughs> I mean, like I, we, we did have like a leg up in certain ways that, you know, my dad was an accountant. He helped us like get straight on that right in the beginning. You had supported, he had a client parents. that was an entertainment lawyer. So he, you know, obviously we paid him, but, uh, mm -hmm. He, you know, negotiated a lot of our first contracts and stuff. You know, a lot of people in the early days got taken advantage of oh, pretty heavily. I'm sure. Um, unfortunately, like we had, we had representation, and and you know, we we had our ducks in the row. So. Even in sync, got taken advantage of. Yeah, you guys man. remember that story? Yeah, man, you guys are just like in sync. Okay, you guys are just, just like in sync. Like pretty much just and like in sync. Literally. Uh, <laughs> oh wow, they already up. They already so, updated the photo. So look at that. Holy what, crap. what? What? I obviously I was I've been doing a lot of oh, research. Yeah, 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 yeah. And something I wanted to do today yeah. is to look into the Smosh Wiki. Okay. Which I don't think really has been too aggressively edited or uh, updated for years. Um, mm -hmm. But I did notice I pulled up the Smosh page for just the channel as a whole. Mm -hmm. They've already. Um, They've already uploaded the new photo. Yeah, of yeah. You and, see that, you yeah. And Anthony. Now, however, reading it, um, uh -oh. it's like Smosh is a YouTube channel led by Ian Hecox. Uh oh, so already uh -oh. that has to be changed. That has to be changed, man. Yeah. Uh, the Spain Smosh page, like they they kind of cover the history of it. Doesn't seem uh, history. Ian and Anthony are best friends who had regularly made videos together ever since high school, which they uploaded on YouTube and the website Smosh.com. At first, Smosh only consisted of half the pair. Uh, Anthony used to make Flash games and movies on Newgrounds.com mm -hmm. under the name Smosh. Mm -hmm. The name Smosh originated when one of Anthony's friends was talking about a mosh pit he had joined, and Anthony misheard him as saying Smosh Pit mm -hmm. instead, uh, which is kind of funny that we had then ended up changing, yeah. changing the second channel to Smosh Pit later on. Yeah, it just... Was that on purpose? No. What? Smosh Pit? Like well, Smosh Pit I mean, is just like a the Well, name. Smosh Pit was was we we called the the website like the 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 picture dump kind of content. That was the Smosh Pit at first. Okay. And the second channel was originally ENH. Mm -hmm. It was originally my personal channel. And we had started uploading this this series on there called Ian is Bored, where it just makes silly, stupid videos. So that's why fans are just like having all these things about you. Because I'm yeah. literally reading this fandom about you, about like Ian was often portrayed as dim-witted, ignorant, lazy, irritable, gullible, well, well, that, conceited. He was a fucking well, loser. Uh, I mean, I mean, th that's that's like my that's who I am in sketches. Yeah, that's I your know. It's not that's not who I. Really am, Amanda. I yeah, you know Amanda. this. You know this, Amanda. Amanda. I guess I'm still learning. <sighs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then we we wanted to rename the the second channel. Obviously, we didn't want to call it Smosh Two. No, because sure. it's dumb. And we the Smosh Pit was already a thing, and we wanted to bring more attention to the Smosh Pit website. Um, and so we called it Smosh Pit. I love it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. I'm so happy far, to be a part of be, it. This seems to be pretty accurate. Uh, uh, so, yeah, their rise to fame started in the fall of 2005 during YouTube's early days. The videos they made then were extremely different to their videos now, but I think that's about to change. I think mm -hmm. we're getting some old school stuff yeah, back. The classic style is returning. Not 2005 Smosh, but Ooh. like 2011 to 2014 Smosh. I would Ooh. say. Ooh. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Just on the main channel, and then we even we even have a bikini girl. <laughs> oh God, videos. girl yeah. one, girl two, hot girl, bikini girl, <laughs> bikini literally, girl. literally in the God. script. I'm I'm so sorry. I I swear that I respect women. Uh, <laughs> um, We're off but, to a good start, which is true. Here. Which is true. Um, but we did. I did write into the script. It is on there. She is credited as Bikini Girl. Oh my god, I'm getting, I'm getting triggered to like my first casting things. It was like, big breasted woman. No, no, shut the fuck up. No, I'm, I'm not. What kidding. are you talking about? Not from you, from oh. my own casting. Oh. No, not from when I started. I thought in you were Smosh. saying like, I thought you were saying that no. you got casted as a big breasted woman. I was like, Jesus Christ, there's no fucking no, way. No, just boss. An executive? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, no, okay. no. In my casting, oh, my sure. actual, not you got Smosh. An audition? For, wait, 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 oh, what? when I was, yeah, when I first moved here, it was like hot woman, big breasted woman, mom. Mom. And I was 25 when I moved here. 
So I was like, well, that's like a, okay. that's like porn. <laughs> it's like if you're 25, you're a mom now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's, there's, Honey, what are you doing in the kitchen? <laughs> there's nothing more humbling than getting breakdowns for characters for auditions. Like you move out here and you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm so excited. You get audition. It's like Stoner One, and you're yeah. like. Is that who Ugly I am? Ugly guy five. Stupid idiot. Uh, or h- homely girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> homely girl. <laughs> Better Ugly. for radio girl. Like <laughs> Girl you do not want to see. Disgusting piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Amanda. I'm reading for disgusting yes, piece of disgusting shit. Disgusting piece of shit. Okay. And that's all we need from you. Thank you very much. And I'm much. six five. I don't think we need to hear the read. I think you've got it. Great. Uh, so on this, I'm looking. There's a million series that have been on Smosh over the years. Okay. Uh, so a bunch of these new and old. They've got it updated. So it's crazy to see just how much. I see GDFNs on there. Yeah, dude. They've got everything. So couples therapy. We uh, start mm-hmm. date July 6, 2022. End date yeah. July 27, 2022. Yeah. Dead table talks. Every blank ever. Dead table talks. Lasted talk. for seven years. Mm. Uh, food battle, which they say status ended. I don't know. Well, I don't know now. I ever. I don't think I Look, was ever man. in food battle. No, food battle ended in 2016, which mm-hmm. was less than a year after I started. Or oh. it ended about a year after I. And started. And I didn't join until I don't. Remember. You. Uh, oh, we. We're gonna maybe? go to your wiki in a 2019. second. 2019. Oh right, yeah. I well yeah I will I will point out, um, food battle at the end. If you watch past the credit or whatever. Ooh. There is a question mark. Yeah, man. This is the end, and then a question mark appears, and somebody, a hand comes in and takes the donut. And you leave it open-ended, but then Anthony left within a year of yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. it was kind of like, I think we're, I think it's probably ended, right? but now who friggin' knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, they've got all of them right here. Uh, man, a uh, lot, of, lot of good shit. Mm. Um, I also have your family tree on your... Um, fandom and it says that your like great 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 grandfather was abraham lincoln yeah this was this was a uh and charles k anthony Mm -hmm. okay so this is this is this is from (laughs) one of the epic april fools pranks that we used to pull back in the day so great uh, in this one we we made a video that i had a an identical twin Oh, um, so this was this was like the Smosh.com exclusive piece that showed my family tree, which is all died oh, in roller see, coaster yeah. accident. Yeah. All six of these died in roller coaster accidents. Yeah, and then there's another there's another woman uh, uh, artificially in, uh, inseminated with uh, octuples, and we just used the same. Uh, they kind of look like photo Anthony. Guy. Yeah, yeah, it does look a little bit like it. It does, yeah. Oh no. Oh I God. Know. So, my favorite thing with the Smosh Wiki. <laughs> Dyer oh, yeah, blonde there's a, again, babe. There's like a yeah, there's like a hillbilly joke in there because they all there's like a incest joke. Um, these these people are right here. See, they're all linked together. All named Zeke. It's that's very weird. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, we're focusing I, too much on one stupid. Sorry. Joke. Um, my favorite thing about the Smosh Wiki. Yeah. Uh, is there's a trivia section, and uh, I'm curious how much of this is still accurate. Oh, okay. Ooh. So I'm gonna pull it up for you first, Ian, and Great. then Amanda. I actually, I'll, I'll check yours. I, you do have a wiki page, and I'm curious how good the I info have a is. wiki feet page. I have a wiki page. I have wiki feet. Uh, will you have be a, a wiki different feet episode for your, for your fake feet. No, wait. I haven't looked yet. I yeah. should look. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Ian's favorite Pokemon is Ditto. It was probably a video. Yeah, it's yeah, as revealed, revealed in Ditto, 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 the movie trailer. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, uh, <laughs> in most male time with Smosh, Ian kills himself. <laughs> yeah, oh. um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it wasn't like a. It wasn't a. It wasn't the S word. It was like there would always be something in the mail that would kill us. <laughs> oh, you would actually just get murdered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd be like, uh, I know like one of them, we was like, oh, we got like anthrax I was or just going to say that, anthrax. Like, so we, we would just have like random things, be like, oh, what's this? And then die. And that was like how we would end most of the mail time with Smosh episodes is like something would kill us. We wouldn't, we wouldn't K ourselves. Which is that sounds right. so bad because Mail Time with Smosh sounds like a Nickelodeon like spin-off. <laughs> yeah. Mail Time with Smosh. Yeah. 
But yeah. we stopped we stopped doing it because like you know the the crazier stuff would get on video and then people would send us like even crazier things yeah. to to put on video and it just like went overboard it, like we started getting like really really gross stuff and it was like oh. you just had to stop it it wasn't people you know, ruined the fun it's just it would just get gross uh here's a cool really? thing here's a cool thing ian was the one who said the word bitch the most i believe it sure i've never heard you say bitch well it used to be like a bit it was our it was our no, don't give me that face. What face? You, you, you seem disappointed <laughs> in me. I am a little bit disappointed. No, no, but bitch would, is so fun to say. We wouldn't say it to Not like we someone. wouldn't say it to women. We would always say it to each other. So we and we wouldn't say it like you know like like that way. We'd be like bitch. Oh, yeah. very cool. Um, Bring it back. <laughs> we, we, I think we are. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Spoiler. Yeah. Spoiler. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoiler, man. Uh, <laughs> Ian has apophobia. What is that? A fear of bees and possibly sphexophobia, a fear of wasps, due to an instant incident when he was a child where he used a swing against an active wasp hive, causing the bees to attack him. Oh, yeah. Is that a real is story? This is this my girl? <laughs> no, the story the story's real. I don't think I'm afraid. I'm, I'm not really afraid of bees. I Wasps I'm afraid of because I don't trust them. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, I was swinging on a swing in my like aunt's backyard. And you know the swings that had like the the plastic over the chain? Yes, of course. I think they made like a nest like in there. Oh. And so like when I went to swing on it, they like came out of it or something. And yeah, I got stung by by a bunch of wasps. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it wasn't fun. So did Macaulay Culkin. Oh. Oh, my girl. Didn't work out so well for him. And he died. Yeah. Spoiler. Spoilers. And then uh, (laughs) there's a bunch of just random shit here. But then uh, lastly, and I remember this. In July of 2020, Ian changed his Twitter name and avatar to Caillou mm-hmm. for an unknown reason. I knew. I remember that. That, that was, was just some for great shit. That was just for shits and giggles. Yeah, I just a good that. time. Yeah, that was that was great. That was a lot of fun. This is the most fun I had on Twitter. Probably uh, ever. Except for announcing Smosh. No, I haven't even been able to engage with people. I've been I doing know. this bullshit. Oh my god! <laughs> enough. Okay. But is your Twitter broken? I don't think so. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I think I think it's still working. I heard Smosh's Twitter is like a little bit broken right now because of all the all the tweets. Yeah, it's too pop popular. That's really popping sweet. off. Pop, pop, uh, pop, pop, Amanda, pop I have off. your trivia here. I think most of this yeah. is correct. <laughs> Was casted as big breasted woman number <laughs> yeah. one by Smosh. Primarily works as hey, Amanda. Um, I think <laughs> never mind. Uh, it says Amanda is Portuguese. Oh. Yes. But like a specific p- kind of My Portuguese, family's right? from the Azores. Oh, well, it doesn't have that in San Miguel. And I'm I'm half Irish also. Wow. They, so they're not fully correct. No. Uh, Amanda often has lunch with Angela. No. Oh. <laughs> Is that correct? Is that correct? <laughs> I, so love, I love these it. facts. I love Ian's are like these intense, crazy facts. And Norris is just like, uh, she got lunch with Angela Yeah, once. she got into her car. Well, there's a lot of accounts that are like Angela and Amanda are best friends forever. Oh. It's yeah. really cute. There's is that like, an Arasha prank that she's setting no, up? No, no, no. There's like a legit Amanda and Angela are best friends, Instagram and YouTube. And it's really cute. It's every moment that we've ever like touched. <laughs> <laughs> it's really okay. cute. Uh, the compilation gets so specific. Um, yeah, I do have lunch with Angela a lot. Good. Okay, nice. so yeah. that's also true. I support Amanda that. has been told that she looks like Adam Sandler and Cat in the Hat, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which we know is true. Yes. Uh-huh. No, I, I haven't gotten a female. I've gotten Aubrey Plaza. Mm. I've also gotten what's her name from Girls. I've noticed like some some like some like random like men on like Twitter are very triggered by your bangs. Really? What? Yeah, yeah. Like like really? some like some men are like <laughs> legitimately like triggered by your bangs. Why? Like like triggered they're, they're in a like, bad way? They're like like they're like don't trust a woman that has bangs like that. I have and never like, seen that comment. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen a f- f- comments. I think there's like there's something that's protected that makes, by my bangs then. Yeah, there's something that makes like some men like deeply insecure. Yeah. I, I actually get a, <laughs> I actually get a lot of messages on my Instagram that are like, Mommy, your bangs. Oh my god, mommy. <laughs> well that's I get, good. I that's get good. mother Attention, all the time. Mommy. Mother is good. I get mother all the time and it's yeah. like your bangs, like I would say that on other women, like I don't like them, but on you it makes me feel something like I feel like that's awesome. I don't even know. And I'm like Yeah, my my messages on Instagram are never like I'm never like, oh God. I'm always like, oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I mommy. think this is more like Twitter. 
Oh, okay, Twitter. Yeah. 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 Blue, I kind of love blue that. Some blue check marks. Some blue check Getting marks. Getting mad about yeah. the bangs. Yeah. Uh, so uh, besides that, Amanda, the only thing that I saw in yours that kind of blew my mind, uh, it's under professional information. It says uh, other works of, of note. NBC7 News. Yeah. I don't think I knew that you worked on NBC7 News. Yeah. You're a crisis actor? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. No, I worked at, I worked, in, no, no, God. no, I worked in downtown Boston. I would take the train and I worked at Channel 7 NBC News as a writer. I was a news writer. I was like the people super stressed out behind the reporters. You were writing the fake news? I was writing the fake news, exactly. And then I was, but I first started off as a PA and a teleprompter. Okay. I got yelled at more times than I can count Ooh. on that job. So I would be the the teleprompter person yeah. who would turn the little that's teleprompter. A, that's a serious skill. It was a serious skill, but like the p- the producer was so angry at me all the time because if you go the littlest bit fast, yeah. the reporters get so angry. Yeah. And so yeah, I worked at Channel Seven like the four AM shift for almost three years. That's I pretty di- awesome. I didn't. I enjoyed the news a lot. I thought I was going to be a news reporter. Because my mom didn't wasn't wow. like Ian's parents. She was like, okay, all these fun, like, because I would film everything I did. I would make little movies when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And she'd be like, okay, that's fun. But, like, be a reporter. It's the same thing that you're doing on the side. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I, like, pursued reporting. Oh. Yeah, and I made a reporting reel, and all my friends thought it was a joke. Oh. Because I was so, they were like, this is hilarious. And I was like, I'm talking about murder and, like, people tied up. So it was, um, yeah, my reel just showed me that I was in the wrong place. So I left Boston. Wow. Guys, it's okay. Maybe one day you'll see my reporting reel. Oh. I use oh, my hands a lot. Oh, if we can lot. upload that, that'd be so awesome. I'm like, a man was Wait, caught how, down. How, how Did you use a different voice? Um, I used a reporter voice a lot, <gasps> but I didn't go too hard, and I was very awkward. Do they, do they like, give you I lessons on that? I was 23. Oh, my God. Do they tell you how to talk? Yes. Yes. They're like, hey. But I like You I, need to talk like this. They th- I just like watched them a bunch and then did a lot of writing and then I would like go out at 4 a.m. and shadow a reporter and then I would jump in and like while she was outside of court and like jump in and do like my own they call it package. Yeah. To think like your your <laughs> career, you could have been like at this point in your career, like a lead reporter in like <laughs> Omaha. Uh yeah, because like those, like <laughs> yeah. those, I feel like those people like it's so it's such a weird career. Like you just bounce around to the most like random cities. Well, that's the thing that I didn't know that I couldn't start in a city that I wanted. I had to start in like Wyoming or Utah yeah. or Ohio, and you are a one man band. So you do everything. You film yourself. You set up your shot. You edit. You do your graphics. Oh. You do everything. You're literally a YouTuber for like I didn't five know that. to six years. Holy! And shit. then maybe you can. So those people on the desk, yeah. have worked grunt work for like ten years Which before is, they got on there. So that's why they're allowed to be very angry. Ex- at you for so angry. Exactly. Up the teleprompter. Exactly. And I realized I was just like, it's really hard reading the news every single day. It was like really depressing. Yeah, and plus man. I love. And you have comedy. to wake up at like three a.m. Right? You literally have to, no, you have to wake up at like two thirty if you're <sighs> on camera to do your makeup. <sighs> but for me, I woke up at three a.m. and took the train. Yeah, gosh. and we drink donkeys. Donkeys, just <laughs> donkeys, <laughs> donkeys, donkeys, baby. Donkeys. Um, <laughs> yeah, truth. Wow, yeah. that's wild. I can't wait to see we're gonna, baby, we're gonna baby find Amanda. That. We're going to find that and we're going to show it. Uh, uh, lastly, drinking donkeys. donkeys. Lastly, before we, we're out of friggin' time. Oh, Shit, I, I wanted, wanted to read yours. Well, okay, before we go, there's one thing. Okay, there's a couple things on mine that I do not understand. Okay. Okay. I don't, because a lot of them I know the video where they came from, right? I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, we did that in a two truths, one lie or something. Yeah. So I have a couple here. Uh, Shane hates cheese. Hmm. I have no idea where it came from, but it's on there. Because it hurts your tummy? Uh, No, I don't hate cheese. It must be a video. But it says reference needed. So someone just put (laughs) that on there. Somebody's just just trolling. Someone else put one of Shane's favorite TV shows is ABC's Once Upon a Time. (laughs) He has has said, quote, I really like the story of the show. It makes me feel like I am in the scene, which is important to me. Oh! (laughs) I don't... Understand. Here's the weird thing. I yeah. did watch 
the first season of Once Upon a Time. Okay. But I didn't, like, love it. <laughs> okay. I, so I don't know how this happened. Sure. Uh, so we need to figure that shit out. Uh, it also says Shane's favorite Pringle flavor is the barbecue Pringle, which is also not true. Huh. So I don't know where this shit came from. I'm very confused. Reference needed on most of these. Well, Reference needed. I, I will say, like, speaking of, like, misinformation on on the, the wikias or the fandom wikis, mm. uh, somebody kept putting on our on Smosh's real Wikipedia, like, last month that... Uh, Anthony and Ian own Smosh. Funny. And they were like, they were like, they kept oh. writing like, because of like some some uh, clause that Anthony put into the contract and blah, 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 now Anthony and Ian own Smosh. And we were sitting there obviously planning yeah. on this deal and we we're like, who is adding this? Who is doing this? Can't you find out? No, it's just like a track them down. Just a random like. Wikipedia. Anthony's a tech wizard. He can track them down. But now but you know weird. that person is like, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I knew, knew it. it. I knew yeah, it. I knew it. I'm the coolest guy ever. Yeah. What? That's yeah. really kind of. Did you guys? You guys must have freaked out. It was weird. It was really weird. I was like, well, it's it's like wrong information. So I, it's like not a big deal. Yeah, but just but it was still just like so strange. That's bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Well. Well, um, I have a question for you. Uh, okay. So, who would you rather be, or who do you think's cooler, Big Bird or Snuffleupagus? Oh, this is a real. See, I serious didn't really. Question. I didn't really watch that much. That much Sesame Street okay. or Jim Henson pr- property, but um, I would say that Snuffleupagus probably because yeah, Big Bird is just like name right. Snuffleupagus. Isn't it Snuffleupagus? Snuffleupagus. Isn't it Snuffuff? I have absolutely no idea. I don't know. You're, you're asking some like serious like boomer questions, Amanda. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Ian, but, but we're I, the but same I, age, but I, babe. That's not true. How you're, old are you? Yeah, but you're married and stuff. You're that like, doesn't that automatically makes true. That, that does automatically add, makes you. That like, babe, that's matter. like a deep f- sadness of me. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> am I married? Does that mean I'm like old and yeah. dead and off the basically, market of yeah. life? No, basically, yeah. no, yeah. No. Great, cool. It is Ian, a nice ring, though. Thanks. Very nice. Right okay, now. so Big Bird or Snuffleupagus? Oh, sn- <laughs> All right, uh, incorrect. Uh, Ian, thank you for being here. Uh, this you. has been enlightening. Thank you. I'm I'm happy. I'm I'm happy to be back at at the Smoshcast. I, I I think you two helming this thing is really fun. Um, and and I I wish you I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Ian. Thanks, Ian. Well, wow. you're, you're welcome back anytime. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome back. I feel like we're about to go on like a train ride or something. <laughs> Here <laughs> we go. About to leave the country. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you next Monday. Bye. Uh, bye.